So people knew, uh, do know that the Palestinians in Gaza are locked up. It's a concentration camp. Israel's been doing the same shit Hitler has been doing to the Jews that they're doing to the Palestinians. They're the fucking new Nazis, neo-Nazis, and they do it because of America's permission. America took the land away from the Native Americans, so therefore, the policy of Israel and Palestine... They say Israel's allowed to be a country because of 1948, the United Nations and America created a country for Jews because of the Holocaust. So they needed a fucking area, they needed a spot, and they took the fucking Holy Land, and they took Jerusalem, and they took half the land. And then they took three-fourths land, and then they're taking 70, you know, 90-something percent of the land. They just keep on, you know, taking piece by piece, and um, there's no more land for the original Palestinian, original native Palestinians, native Israeli people, right, the original people. The whole world actually is in support of a two-state solution, having a country for Palestine and having a country for Israel. But the uh, Israeli people, they've been a timid and terrified bunch fighting for its very existence since its uh, inception, their inception, so they're worried about its, you know, its uh, I guess, continued existence but they're bombing the fuck out of Palestine so they're they get mad and say well they're trying to say Israel shouldn't exist well you're making sure that Palestine don't exist your action says that your action says way more than any fucking words could ever fucking say so it's a concentration camp it's really bad there is a Cynthia McKinney which was a Green Party presidential candidate also a congresswoman from Georgia she went in a boat to Palestine when uh, the first Gaza war happened in 2008 when Obama got in office, and this is probably all about Obama. This is just uh, Netanyahu basically saying, you all got a fucking black president. Fuck y'all, what is a black president going to say something to the fucking the leader of the Jewish country? He's using politics and race and religion, and he's using America, steering America by its fucking nose. All right, Some people have said Iraq war was in order to defend Israel. The Iraq war is just to fucking defend Israel. The whole thing. APAC spends 50% of its, you know, funds to their, their candidacies. So all the death and destruction and the children dying, it, it happens because in the United Nations, which is the only sort of international governing body which doesn't really govern shit unless America enforces it, right, with their troops and money. But other countries have enforced, uh, you know, other United Nations things. But there's a security council that has five countries that can veto any decision that happens. And that's United States, France... Um, I think Great Britain, Russia, China, something like that. So the uh, the big five, they can veto any decision that they make. So if the entire world, the United Nations, says that China cannot invade Japan, but the, um, uh, the uh, China says, well, we can, and they veto that decision, the United Nations decision, then they are allowed to, you know, commit whatever crimes they want to commit. And that's what America's been doing. They've been using their veto power in the United Nations in order to protect Israel for the last 50, 60, 70 years. We also give money to both Israel and Palestine, which I thought was pretty amazing. So in a way, I don't know what we're doing. We're having a dualistic policy there. We're saying that both of them are allowed to exist, and here's money, and they're not going to be one nation. You know, they're not going to be one country together. So why do we, I don't know. I mean, uh, Ray and Paul, the fucking hypocritical bastard that he is, you know, he's fucking turned tail and running on the fucking war on drugs, and now he's going to turn tail and run away from Palestine, even though I know what the fuck he thinks about Palestine. But he's saying we should cut funding to Palestine. He's saying that threat because inversely, he's saying if you cut funding to Palestine, then therefore cutting funding to foreign countries is in play, and then you could cut funding to Israel. Cut funding to one, you cut funding to the other. So, but he's a hypocrite. He's talking about cutting funding to the Palestinians and not to the Israelis. We can stop financing it. The Senate, including Elizabeth, um, I mean, for all this, this is a family thing. <laughs> but Elizabeth, um, uh, shit, Elizabeth Warren, a senator, and uh, uh, Stuart Smalley, <laughs> Al Franken. Um, so Al, Al Franken and uh, Elizabeth Warren, and you have uh, 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 you know, other liberals, Bernie Sanders and uh, Rand Paul, they all voted in favor of the authorization of defense of fucking Israel Act or some shit recently. So that's our entire United States government, including the liberals and the radicals and the so-called, you know, uh, libertarians or anarchists or socialists. Those are very, they all fucking love Israel. Uh, RFK was killed by Sirhan Sirhan, a pal Palestinian nationalist. You've had Jimmy Carter who tried to fucking have King Camp David peace accords, the Oslo Accords. You had the Israeli prime minister was assassinated. 
So Palestinian killed Robert Kennedy, um, Sirhan Sirhan, because he his support for Israel. So it's weird. I really like Robert Kennedy and all the ideas and shit that he was campaigning on, but his fucking support for Israel is why he got shot, and that's a legitimate fucking claim. You know, and the Palestinians have been fighting this battle for how long? How long have the Palestinians been fighting this? So, you know, they're they're a long-standing proud people, and they Israel knows what they're doing. They know they're encroaching on their settlements, and they just keep on sitting on their land and basically daring them to fucking do shit. The rockets that they're saying, they act like it's equal, but it's oppressors and the oppressed, it's an occupation. And so the rockets that Hamas are sending out to Israel are duds and they ain't really exploding much out of the total death count I've heard is 525 dead Palestinian people, mostly civilians and children, and um, 25 Israel, Israels, Israelites. And so 25 Israel, Israelites and 500 something Palestinians, Ralph Nader said it more starkly. He said it was actually a 400 to 1 uh, differential, 400 Palestinians to every one Israeli death. Uh, but Young Turk said that it was 25 Israeli deaths and 500 and so um, Palestinian. And so that's actually, it's not 400 to 1, but it is, you know, that's substantial, right? That's 500, 25 into 500 is uh, 25 times, or 4 times, it's 20 times, right? So that's 20 times, 20 to 1. So you're killing Palestinians at 20 to 1 rate. It's not equal. And also, the bit being a concentration camp, when you had Cynthia McKinney tried to go over there with a boat to give it food because of the Gaza blockade, they weren't allowed to actually get it. They were invaded by Israeli troops. The Israeli troops fucking jumped on their fucking boat and shut it down. Took their boats, confiscated them, threw everybody in jail, and then eventually everybody had to get out. But they tried to give food to Gaza. So that's another thing Israel does. They don't just bomb the fuck out of them, but they cut... Their water supplies and their electricity and their transportation. It's just walling them in there, not allowing them to go anywhere. And the Palestinians still proud people still fucking saying, fuck it. We're Palestinians, you know. We'll do whatever the fuck we need to do. And they, they fucking throwing rocks at people. And they, a Palestinian actually once showed me or how to use just like a rubber band and a piece of rock to shoot a shotgun shell. You know, if you needed to do something like that, a makeshift. If you have a bullet but you don't have a gun, you could still make the bullet, you know, shoot off. And so the Palestinian, why would he know something like that? Why would he know some, you know, slingshot type of, um, they, they throw, you know, it's David versus Goliath out there. And so, you know, the, the Palestinians isn't the point. This was just something that's on my mind. So that's, that's historical, right? When I'm thinking about something that's on my mind. Speaking of oppressors, there's, um, Elizabeth Buson, right? Here's some of the, uh, Blanchett ancestors, Blanchett Grip Shiver ancestors which are um, uh, French aristocracy. So the reason why she has a picture like this is because she had some rich fucking person, she paid somebody to paint herself up because only rich people have pictures and portraits. And look at it, right? She had her hair, her hair all did up and then, you know, um, she, she looks all right or whatever. It seems like an okay picture, but the um, you know, this is a sugar plantation owner. She's going to run sugar plantations with violence, running with violence and... Um, over in La Reunion in Maritas, uh, Bourbon Island and the island of France. Butch Arlinghouse, it's my first cousin once removed. I was wondering actually if this is Joey's father, Joey and uh, Josh. If that's the case, then I do know Butch. And I didn't know he died. And that's that sucks. My grandfather and grandmother, Camille and Teresa. First cousins once removed. Just came home from the war. He's in his 50s or so. She's in her 20s. She's thick, right? She's got that that face, that group shiver face. She, he's got that group shiver face. They put the group shiver faces together, and you get my aunts and uncles. I think this is what Theo and Joe. Over. So is that Theodore the second, the third, Joe Ferdinand, Joseph? I don't know. This is um, Rebecca Gripshover, and she died like real young, either twenty or thirty years old. There's been several actually young Gripshover deaths about my age. Kind of scares me to be honest with you. And she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Look at her. I don't know if she was married or if she's blood related. Sure, who that is. Mary or Kate Gripshiver. Always get them mixed up. 
Crazy Henry and Crazy Kate Dickman. He, even his hair is parted all crazy. <laughs> He's got the boxy head, and then his hair makes it even more boxier. His hair is, you know, it's parted on the like the right side, but it kind of goes towards the middle to the back. It's like he's never did, done his hair before. He's like, oh, damn, I'm getting married, so I got to, how you do this? How do you make it? Mush it down. You got to flatten it down and mush it down. He got them big ears, too, so there's a there's a nice group server trademark. I better look at my ears. I don't know. Um, I'm not, I'm clearly not, you know perfect person I'm just kind of I don't know doing a scientific analysis on each one of these photos she got chubby face she's you know, she's all right she's cute she got a big head though kind of a big very round head um, looks she looks skinny though so pretty enough he got himself a, sort of a looker Kate Dickman I don't know where she's actually where she from Deckman Dickman uh, yeah so nappy hair Nappy hair, Henry's, Henry Grip Server's slave woman, maybe? Is that who he was, was Henry, like, begging this slave woman? Is this, is this, uh, you know, am I a product of a fucking rape? Is that what it is? I'm 11% Africans can fall from the fucking rape. Is that what it is? How about nobody told me when, why I got all this black blood coursing through my veins? I'm hoping it was some heroic black blood, but I'm afraid it's going to be some horrible crime. Some contemporary grip shovers. It's my uh, first cousin once removed. Second cousin once removed. First or second cousin once removed. Greg, with his hair all puffed up, with a bow tie. All right, looking like those Victorian pictures. Young politician take on the establishment. Ambitious, young, ambitious, has ideas, dreams. Another youthful person with vision, dreams, ideas. Tony Grips ever wanted to buy a car. That's why he got kicked out of the house, because he wanted to buy a car. It's the 60s, 60s, 70s. But he ain't allowed to have a car. How are you going to be a man? How are you gonna? Could you imagine being living in this world without a car? How would you go to the store? How would you go to work? How would you go to school? How would you go anywhere? You need a car to go and do anything in America. Can't drive a car. That's to stop his flow. Stop him from having any power. He didn't want him to have any power. So, yeah, go ahead and love yourself some, bud. But don't forget that he died of drinking and driving, right? And where do you get the idea of being an alcoholic and drinking is okay. And that's a suicidal trait. So, why is he being a drunk his whole life? Tony Groves ever died on Thanksgiving Day, 1973. He was isolated and alone. Felt like his whole family had turned his back on him. He was driving on Richwood Road with uh, William Rich. And got into a wreck, drinking and driving. Drove off the road, is, got all turned around, and runs into a tree. Uh, I think probably kills him at the scene. It's my cousin, George. George, I guess I got a George Grip server, an uncle, so he's he'd be George the second. There's a George Austin too. Austin is George. He's got a, a different middle name, George something. But there's other George Grip servers actually. It's not just my uncle George. There's several George Grip servers, so they might actually be like the third and the fourth. George Anthony Gripshover married Mary um, Ann DeMosco. So actually, Teresa's father, my great-grandfather, was George Anthony. So that'd be the first George, right, George Anthony. So, and then I think he had a George. So that would be the second George there. But anyways, this is, uh, all right, this is my cousin. He loves John Deere and Bush beer. And, um, and, and, uh, Blonde women and fat friends. Right, he's got fat friends, blonde women, beer, John Deere T-shirt. It's him being funny. I think it's an anti-gay, but very gay. 
picture, right? He's like, he likes to eat, eat his butt or eat his farts or his, his poop or something. <laughs> He's a funny guy, right? Always making jokes. What is this? I'm looking on something on the ground. Something making this picture interesting. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Here's some woman. Yeah, Rebecca Gripshover. She died two years ago.